these are my undead prom dates. What's going on guys? It's John coming to you from San Luis Potosi, second consecutive episode here. This time we're going to be concentrating though more on the colonial part of town and not on Dia de los Muertos, which happens to be falling today. So we're going to be looking at a couple of things involving it, but this is going to be more of a historical walk and I'm going to bring in a special guest star for this episode, somebody who has a lot of passion for Mexico. I met him a few days ago. He's a good friend of my girlfriend's and we're going to bring him in right now. All right guys, this is Lalo. Lalo's going to be guiding us around today. Hey guys, I hope you you will be enjoying this this video today. We're going to we're going to be visiting uh, different buildings that the city has to offer, different squares. Uh, we're going to enjoy uh, showing all the city has to offer. Es mi barrio San Miguelito, del centro de México soy soy por Dios. This is the statue of the guy who founded the city. Uh, he was a king from France. It looks like he has a bowling ball, doesn't it? Yo soy de San Luis Potosí, el nopal dibujo enterito. ¿En dónde, manito? ¿Dónde? All right, so this is a, a statue. When Lalo told me this, I thought it was actually a street performer and that he was trying to, like, punk me. But, you know, what's the story with this guy? Um... The story behind this, uh, this, this sculptor is uh, a man who came in to this square every single day and fed the doves. Uh, no one knows who he was. Only came to one of these benches, uh, sit all the day and fed the doves. One day he disappeared. I, I think he died or, or something. And, and the people start wondering where he went. So he never came back and after uh, brings to the legend and after that uh, it comes the legend of the, of the men who, who fed the dogs and the city hall decide to make a statue for this man. I'm sitting with Lalo right now on the steps of the, uh, the local theater and he told me it's one of his favorite places to go and just relax. Uh, what, what's your favorite thing about being from San Luis Potosi? It's a local saying that said that you're from San, if you're from San Luis, you know everybody, everybody around the city. You get to one place and, and, and you get to know a cousin of a friend and you get to, you get to know the, the, the girlfriend of another friend mm -hmm. and, and literally um, here in Mexico they say it, it's, a, it's a town, these guys, in, in a big city. This is one of the things uh, that San Luis Potosí is known all around Mexico, is because these chocolates. Costanzo. Hola, ¿qué tal? Este, me das 100 gramos de figura de chocolate. All right guys, we got all this chocolate $2.50. What is it called? Uh, tornillo. Lalo insists that I try tornillo, which is like screw in English. I don't quite see the resemblance, but uh, he said it's the most traditional thing you get here. I love milk chocolate, so let's see how this tastes. This is very good. It's not as like sweet, I think, as some of the milk chocolate I'm used to. And, like. Europe or the United States, but it's distinctive, it's different, and I think I'm gonna eat this whole thing and ruin my lunch. Quieres decir hola? Hablas inglés? Yes. You speak English? Yes. What's your, na what's your name? Uh, my name is Ivan Emanuel. Ivan Emanuel? And what, what is your favorite thing about San Luis Potosi? No. Nothing? No. You don't like anything about your town? No. Why not? Say in Spanish. So it's where you live and it's a pretty place. I think he's going to be taking over for you, I'm sorry. He's got more personality, sorry. <laughs> And I asked you to show me the most traditional thing in San Luis Potosi to eat. What did we come up with? 
We come up with enchiladas potosinas. Just take a look at this. It's fried tortilla with cheese on it, and on the top of it, it has more cheese, cream on it. On the side, we have uh, beans, and on the other side, we have some guacamole to enjoy these delicious enchiladas. If you ever come to San Luis Potosí, Mexico, you have to try this one. Mm. So what do you think? I think it took me to a very good restaurant. And I think that this is one of my new favorite Mexican dishes. If you want to meet a uh, really fun, uh, always smiling person, people, sorry, you have to see one Mexican. They're going to never going to uh, see you see you crying. And that's all. Muchas gracias, señor. Desde el corazón. Viva México, cabrones. <laughs> Guys, what an awesome afternoon I had. Special thanks to Lalo for being a great guide for San Luis Potosí. I recommend you find somebody like him in any city you go to. Get that local insider's perspective. I love the architecture here and I really, really loved those enchiladas. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, definitely do so to Here Be Bar. We've got weekly travel vlogs, tips videos coming out. Looking to help you guys travel smarter. Be a part of where you go. Thanks for watching. And I like to, to divide it this way and put two in my mouth. <laughs> Is this the Lalo method or the San Luis method? <laughs> it's the Lalo method. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hey, hey, hey.